Hey third grade, today we'll be working on lesson 1.4. Lesson 1.4 is titled The Artist's Sketchbook. So what is a sketchbook? A sketchbook is, it's like an artist's journal. It's what artists use to put all their ideas, uh, all their thoughts, everything they're thinking about, things they see, things they think are really cool, and they put it in something we call a sketchbook. Now I, know you, I don't know if you guys know, that a lot of people like to keep diaries or journals and just record all their thoughts, have it all in one place. This is what artists do. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to use a sketchbook, what is it for, and we're gonna look into one artist that did a whole lot with his sketchbook. Let's get started. All right, so let's see if you guys know who this is. Who is this guy? Let's see, I'm gonna give you a couple a couple seconds to just guess. Who is this guy? Now, if you said Leonardo da Vinci, then you're right. Now, Leonardo da Vinci was born around 500 years ago. He is, he, he was really, he's really old. He's gone now, but he's really, really old. 500 years ago. I mean, what can we learn from that? We can actually learn quite a bit. So Leonardo da Vinci was an artist 500 years ago. Um, he was interested in so many things. He didn't go to school though. He didn't go to school like all of us did. Instead, he he listened, he looked, he uh, drew everything he saw in his sketchbook. So we can learn a lot from Leonardo's sketchbook. He was born in Italy and had a pretty interesting life. Leonardo da Vinci wasn't just an artist. He was actually, so he was an artist, he was an inventor, he was someone who made really, really, really cool machines, um, and all of that is in his sketchbook. He would even draw noses just randomly in his sketchbook, just a, a random nose, just because he was really, he was interested in what was all around him. So today in lesson 1.4, you guys are going to be looking over Leonardo da Vinci and his life things that he did, some pictures he drew. You're going to see one of a soldier that I think is really, really cool. But I'll leave that for when you guys get into your lesson. But you guys are going to be drawing sketches in your sketchbook. And you're going to be getting it from three different views. Now, when I say views, I mean like this. So this is one view. You're looking at me straight. Second view. You look at me at a side angle from the side. Third view is from the back. So you're going to be drawing one thing that you find around your house from three different views, front, side, and back. Now, I went ahead and did one view for you guys. I found this in my daughter's room. It's a little ballerina. Pretty cool, right? I think it's pretty cool. But what I did was I tilted it on an angle on its side for one of the views and I went ahead and sketched it for you guys. So if you see here, this is one view. I put one view on the top, and I put my name on the bottom because this is my sketchbook. This is where I keep my ideas, so I wanna make sure that my name is everywhere. Leonardo da Vinci, he put his name on a whole bunch of stuff. That way we know it was him. Now, you don't have to draw Leonardo da Vinci like I did. That was just for some visual stuff. But hopefully you guys enjoy lesson 1.4 and you guys learn a whole lot. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with in your project, which is using your sketchbook to draw one thing in your home from three different views. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it could be a little messy because sketches aren't always perfect. They're just putting your ideas down. Maybe you have an idea of um, a plane. Maybe you have a... a an idea of what a plane could look like. Maybe it's not what we think it is. Draw it. Put it in your sketchbook. But focus on line and shape. How does line and shape fit into my drawing? How can I use a line and a shape to make something really, really cool? So that is lesson 1.4, guys. I hope you have fun. I hope you learn a lot about Leonardo da Vinci. He's my favorite artist because he was so much more than just an artist. Like he would have been, he would have been the Steve Jobs of today. He would have been uh, 
someone really, really, really important, really, really cool today, coming up with all these uh, new technologies, uh, iPhones, iPads, drawing all them up in a sketchbook, and then just making something amazing. That would have been him. But he was born in Italy 500 years ago. He was a little late to the game. But he was awesome. So have fun. Have a great day. I can't wait to see the sketches you guys come up with. It's going to be amazing. Have fun. See you guys later.